Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm sitting out here in front of our shop. I wanted to bring everybody an update. We took some pictures and did a video um, a couple of months back now. Uh, the crepe myrtles here at our shop, we uh, very deliberately let them get uh, infested. We didn't treat them, we let them get infested with some of the, the scale. And what we were wanting to do is we were wanting to show you the effectiveness of actually treating your crepe myrtle, uh, your, your crepe myrtle scale. And that's gonna be, everybody knows the, uh, the black city mold problem that we have on all the crepe myrtles around here. And that's being caused from, uh, from scale. We've gone over this time and time again. We'll, we'll include some more information. The, the black mold, is, the white stuff is the scale and the black mold is actually, uh, it's a mold that's growing on, a, on the byproduct of the scale. So uh, what we told y'all back a couple months ago is that it's a three-step program. You want to completely drench the tree uh, two different times. You want to space it out about every two weeks. Uh, we used a product called Xylam. And then the third one, uh, you want to do a, a soil drench, and we do it with a root injector. Here we are. This is two weeks after we did our soil drench or the, the the deep root injection, and we have got somewhere in the neighborhood of around, I'm going to say, a 90% reduction in the number of scale. Uh, unfortunately, there is no way to to cure it all and to get rid of it all. But what we have uh, been able to prove here and what we've been able to show is that you can drastically reduce the number of the scale. And when you reduce the number of scale, you're going to, uh, you're going to reduce all of those negative things that you see, like the black city mold and it getting all over the bushes. Uh, you know, a year ago when we started this trial, all of these bushes, all these lower petalums and our knockout roses, they had the black city mold all over them. So. Uh, it is getting kind of late. You know, the, the the older the scale gets, the harder they get to kill. You still can do some treatments if you haven't already. Uh, it's probably going to be harder to kill them, but but something is better than nothing. Because if this uh, if you stay on top of this and you do it every year, every year. So next year when we treat, we're going to start out treating fewer. So if we kill 90% of what was left before long, we're going to get to where it's not really an issue and uh, it's just something that we're just kind of staying on top of. So unfortunately, there's no way to completely eradicate and get rid of once and for all. But like I said, you, you can get, on, uh, get out in front of it, you can stay ahead of it, and you can do some, some really good uh, benefits. So when you, do your two, uh, when you do your two sprays of the actual tree itself, uh, a lot of times, if, especially if you've got a high enough pow power uh, nozzle, you'll actually knock a lot of them off, but you're going to be coating the scales and that's going to be killing it. What's good and beneficial about the deep root injection or the soil drench is that the root system is going to uptake all of that insecticide and the scale is actually feeding on the tree itself. Well, as that insecticide is, is soaked up through the tree, they're going to start eating an infected tree, if you will. The tree's got the insecticide in it, and then it's just going to kill the kill the scale that way. So, anyway, uh, we're pretty excited about it. Uh, it's taken uh, several years of trying several different uh, products, several different techniques. Uh, you know, this is our second time to try this. We feel really confident about it. Uh, it's a product called Xylam. Like I said, we'll include a little link here uh, in the comments for you. And uh, if you wanted to try to do it yourself, if you can't, you can give us a call. We can kind of try to point you in the right direction. Um, you do need to, it, it is liquid. You do need to be able to spray. If you can spray something that's got high pressure, that's even better. So anyway, if you've got any questions, please ask uh, down in the comments. Give us a call, email us, info at matthewslandscape.com. Just whatever's easiest for you. So we'll be glad to help in any way we can. Thanks, and y'all have a great day.